A's and B's. Question says you have to basically create number of A's and B's. They are equal. Please don't compare it with the previous one because previous one was A power n and B power n means number of A's are coming first and number of B's are coming second. So in this particular scenario, uh, nothing is written which is coming first and which is coming second. The scenario is match A's and B's. So guys, I cannot really judge that which will be my starting state because starting state may have A, uh, starting state may have B also, right? So it means if I am writing Q0, right? If I am writing A, Z0, answer could be A, Z0 no issues in that and uh, uh, Q0 when B comes, B Z0 comes and it can be a B Z0 also. So we can start with A and B, it has no constraint. Then we have Q1. Now uh, if I am putting all the states all together, again I have all the A's, A's come and they will get inserted into the stack and B's also come these can also get inserted into the stack. But what happens if A and B are going to match with each other then there will be a pop operation. So uh, considering this scenario, I would rather just create a very simple scenario. I am not putting Q0, Q1 as a state. Let's create a very basic scenario. Any state comes, it has a top of the stack is A. Uh, let's say top of the stack is initially uh, we start with any state Q0 an element that is here so going to process A and top of the stack is Z0 I will just write Q A Z0 right this can be a possible thing then any B comes any B comes uh, it directs the top of the stack is Z0 the answer can be B Z0 guys it can be any number of state it depends upon question to question whether you use using extra states or whether it's up to you so it's a very basic scenario. So Q, uh, any A comes, top of the stack is A, it will get pushed. Why? Because the number of A's are not getting matched with number of A's. They will be matched with number of B's. Say any state gets B and it will get double B. So over here Q0 and Q1 are serving these Q values. Now important thing, when any state experiences with A, any B's comes. It means B will match number of A's because equal number of A's and B's is same. That you have to match B's with A's. The answer would be any state null. Right? Similarly, uh, if B comes and checks the top of the stack is A, it will match it out and you go to any other state. And obviously then any state you will left with nothing, you will go to any state and you will get Z0. Similarly, over here, if like for an example, we have A, top of the stack is um, any element is A, top of the stack is B, it will null, any B, top of the stack is A, it will go to null Q2, A, top of the stack is B, null, B, top of the stack is A, null, and null Z0, Z0, this is Q3. This is how number of A's and B's are created. Where number of A's will just get inserted into the stack, number of B's will pop number of A's out and vice versa. We can start with B, we can start with A, we can start with A, we can start with B. This is how this question is solved. Fine. So in the next video, we will have another kind of scenario with the reverse of